be making a beat in Analog Lab on Logic Pro 10. So, that being said, let's get to the video. Started off with this uh, plug from Analog Lab. It goes like this. Really spacey. I got that from Analog Lab's Magonia Signature. It's something you can buy from their store. I got it when it's on sale. And for the mixing, I just had this pad plate from Reverb's Plate 140 Arturia. And then it's an EQ. So this is before. Wanted this uh, sound to be really spacey, so that's what we got here. So we copy pasted a pad from Analog Lab as well, Solar Wind, in this Inertia pack. So it goes like this. So next we got this and it's just the synth brass three friends preset. Goes like this. For the mixing plugins, I put some ping pong delay from H delay on the modulation feedback, cut down the highs and lows a little bit, and this little problem area right about here. I like the way it sounded, so kind of kept it that way. Uh, next, we got this atmosphere on the zero gravity preset on Analog Lab 5. It's a stock preset. Super beautiful. So what I did here is I uh, added a thermal with this uh, rhythm stomp, mix turned down, and I just EQ'd. Highs and lows, little uh, problem frequencies right about here. That thermal really adds something different. It's almost like a little squeak. All together, it sounds like this. Uh, next, I just added this lead right on top from Analog Lab as well. So the first half, it has this gap, and then right when it comes back into again, it has no gap. I did add a lot of effects to this one. First, I added this Realm with this Cosmic preset, mixed it, turned down to 40 for, a, for more space. Then, I add a Decimort 2, it's a high quality bit crusher, a 16 bit, because I really wanted it to sound like a dirty lead. I added some EQ, filter freak it on a down sweep, only on the verse though. Here's with all the presets. And here's without. Major difference. The ROM and the Decimore is pretty much doing all the heavy lifting. The Decimore with that 16 bit uh, bit crusher really adds that grit that this lead needs. I did the same lead pattern, I just pitched it up. Just add a little bit of variation going into uh, the verse. So for the drum, started off with this hi-hat right here. For the mixing plugins, I have an EQ. Cut out the high and lows. And just a plate reverb from Arturia, the same one in the hi-hat reverb preset. Next, I got this clap. Just an interesting sample. It really sounds like it's EQ'd, so. Next, I have this 808. This is the Ritzafon 
808 Disrespectful Volume 2. Next we have this snare that comes in, second part of the, of the hook, add a little bit more energy. Lastly, we have the open hat. I want to just be a driving force for that last part of the verse. So all together. So that's a beat guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Like, follow, and subscribe. Peace.